Hey guys, Randall here. As per usual, we'll be recording our class matches, I'll be doing some live commentary. There will be one difference compared to the previous seasons, and that's the fact that I'll be streaming them live. So I'll be doing this from uh, 7.15 to 8.30 uh, Eastern time on every day for the season, except maybe the weekend, and I'll see what I do. Uh, so you might see a couple wonky things on screen, but I'll still bring all of those to YouTube as per usual. So don't worry if you can't make it live, you're not missing out on any content. So before we go into the matches, uh, let's show you the team. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I wanted to do something different. We're getting the same map as previous season, which has a lot of camping, lots of gunners, and I spent the entire last season complaining about those. So I don't want to play them, right? Uh, so we're going to be running Shadow Lynx and Venera. That much is for sure. I really love those characters. I just EXed Venera for this purpose. And she's really interesting because she hits super hard, can also take a hit fairly well, and can evade once in a while. So if the enemy's not prepared for evasion, we just straight up win. Otherwise, it's a little bit more risky. So very quickly, she has 6,000 HP, 1,200 attack, which is not bad. Her luck is at 435, so she's not as evady as a to b or a Shadow Lynx, uh, but she makes up for that with decent bulk. She's got 10 defense here, but if we activate Smokescreen, she actually goes to 30, so it's not all that bad. Uh, and then here are her resistances. She's actually resistant to magic, which is a really cool thing in our case. Uh, so that's it for our main carry in terms of damage. Then we have Shadow Lynx, if you've seen the previous season. I love using her. She's our CC bot. Uh, 4700 HP is not terrible, actually. And with Decent Spirit, she can actually take magical attacks, like one of them with a barrier, and survive. She's got RA damage, but she's mainly there for the CC from her abilities. Uh, the stop and the blind are very useful for us. Fairly resistant to magic as well, so she won't get one shot by an enemy Yuna, uh, but she's still... <laughs> I mean, it'll be very, very close to see if she survives or not. Uh, I've tested it. I know Venera can survive it very, very well. Uh, Shadow Links, it depends how the Yuna is built. Uh, then our last member, I'm actually wondering which one to use. I've been swapping out between Ninus and Dwayne in my uh, scrims for several reasons. Ninus has us covered in terms of uh, accuracy. So if we fight an evasion team, even with all our luck, it's not guaranteed we're going to hit them because we're not running any uh, Alexandrite ring or whatnot. So he has an AoE accuracy buff that he can use. He can also increase our defense and spirit further. So he's mainly there as a support. And then if he's for some reason uh, doing some offensive stuff. Well, he's got the three-hit chain he can do, uh, so he's got a couple utility. He's also insanely tanky, so he can be used as a frontline against physical attacks. Uh, that's He's a lot weaker against magical threats, though. The other option I have is simply running Dwayne instead. Uh, Dwayne is going to have another VC, so our whole team has a little bit less agility. Uh, he does bring Keen Blade, though, so I'm not exactly sure. In today's matches, I'll be using only Ninus, and then depending on my experience, I might bring Dwayne back. What Dwayne would have is a uh, Dark Mastery ability, right? So everybody's a little bit tankier, has better damage, uh, but also the ability to break enemy barriers. Otherwise, our team does not have that. So if they're using Mashery's TMR or other kind of barriers, uh, we have to kill them through these. Uh, with Dwayne, we can just use Eternal Darkness and break through. So he has some advantages. So with that said, uh, enough talking. <laughs> Let's actually go in-game. All right, guess it'll give us some time to work out our starting uh, starting things. They have Yuna, Warrior of Light, Tidus. That's uh, interesting. So we'll begin with Knight's Blessing. The, the one I really have to be uh, worried about is Yuna. We're going to use Blood Pact. That's not going to help us against anyone in their team, but extra AP is extra AP. So let's see. Titus, Sitkidane, he's their carry, 1400 attack. That's pretty damn solid. What about Yuna? 1500 magic with Bahamut. Okay, so they're basically Yuna one-shot strategy. But she's on auto, so, you know, she's only gonna have one good attack, and then we don't even know if they've disabled heals, so I guess we'll see. Um, I did want Ninus to increase everybody's spirit, so I guess his current position is pretty dumb. Um, but let's do that. We can boost links afterwards. I can grab one crystal right here. So he's going to be facing Titus with an insane defense and protect. Titus is going to waste his AP. So that should be pretty good. 
a hot ray of light. Wow, it doesn't even generate hate. That's interesting. Gets to re-raise. I'm fine with that. Okay, so what's Yuna's range right now? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. She hits in this box right here. Not too problematic. I can move to the side. And then, yeah, I want to take down Yuna before she does anything, which means it's here with Dragon Standard. I'm an idiot. I'm just going to have time to use Dragon Standard. Not even. Oh, man. It's the first match of the day when you're barely awake. That's where you make stupid mistakes like this. Smoke screen. All right. Was I in range of Yuna? No, I wasn't. And then Titus. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Nope. They're coming to us. Let's not waste any CT. Yuna's going to cast Nimble Movement on herself, I guess. No, Fury Surge. Interesting. So she's dealing with magic resistance penetration her own way. I am fine with that as well. Double resist, not going to help against them, right? Pierce and Missile, nope. So what do we have? We have Wish for Peace, which I guess is mainly useless. Assault Field, which is... feels relevant. Oh, I can't cast it on this spot. That's kind of dumb. I guess I'll just move here and then tank their initial assault. But there's no real reason to do that, so... You know, <laughs> we're just wasting our time. Uh, I don't like playing against Odo. I never know what to do. So now Warrior of Light's gonna move into range, I guess, and we'll be able to start hitting him. Let's use Dragon Standard. Alright, so where is Yuna? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And this explosion right here. So if I move in this area, I'm fine. Perfect. Alright. So he's gonna move forward, use some. Um, Oh, interesting. Crystal Raver. Is he going to hit links? I did not use an evasion buff because I figured they... No, he hit me once. Not terrible. So I can go ahead and hit them, but then I'm hitting the tank with Protect and Shell and 66 Defense. You know what? I don't care about him. I'm just going to wait. Uh, or I can poison him, but that's going to use up a lot of AP. Let's do that. At least he's gonna die slowly. And maybe. No, Yuna doesn't even have poison recovery. Mario's Pride, of course. Now, this time we can throw down the assault field, or I could go ahead and start building a chain. But Yuna's just about to go, so let's wait and hope she advances. So that's fine. Yep, she advances, perfect. So now we can just kill Yuna. And she's not the one with the re-raise, as far as I know. Uh, this girl will be able to reach here and attack Yuna as well. Yep, so we've got something good here. It does mean Lynx will be in range of Titus, which is pretty scary. Let's see if he one-shots her. Nope, misses. All right. So, goes here, uses... Do I have a split shot? Yes, that kills Yuna, perfect. Also hurts the other two. There we go. So the big threat is down. She can't AOE my two squishy assassins with her guaranteed hit attack. And the other guys basically don't stand a chance. So it's over. I guess I'll just use the limit break because of the defense penetration. Skip the animation. Bam, a little bit of death piercing. Uh, Lynx, you've got the Night Veil vale attack pattern. Oh, you're not a samurai, never mind. I guess it's just going to be Shadow Tether. Their Titus is awfully squishy. I'm used to Titus taking like four hits to kill. I guess not. And then Vampire Cleaver, decrease his defense, and finish him off. Okay, so match... Oh, well. Match 1 is going to be a win. Although a fairly undeserved one. Because it wasn't an auto. Are they leaving? Yep. Okay. Match 1 done. Queuing up for match number 2. Don't know if I have time to do all of them. Right, is this a joke? What's that 
day one random matching luck where we're fighting like Odo after Odo player. Uh, double water, Black Witch. I guess the Black Witch has a lot of accuracy and whatnot, so she's a little bit threatening. This time, let's try not to waste turns, because this was a really bad display of uh, how to fight in those matches. I Against them, I do want to use Smokescreen, increase my evasion. They don't have that many guaranteed hits. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I was a little bit sad that they gave the shards to... Um, uh, to Zazan this month because I was like if he's a limited unit not everybody's gonna build her and have uh, him and have him so it felt a little bit like we were not getting something nice uh, but yeah that would make a lot of sense uh, probably splitting the shards between all three Final Fantasy 7 units so we can drop shield deployment on everybody we have a little bit of extra spirit for the Black Witch and then are they going to use Eldira's theorem immediately nope resist magic all right, so Spellblade Eldira, accuracy up, damn it, that is such a bad thing for me, uh, but we'll be fine against these guys. I want Dragon Standard, then what's their current reach? Tonic Blade does not reach anywhere, she reaches nowhere, perfect, we're good. So with this crystal, Lynx can now move in with move 5, potentially stop somebody, so that's pretty good. Um, I have smoke screen on, so I need the blood pack now, and I ideally need a crystal. But that is a risky crystal to get, because she's fairly accurate, right? 300 luck, no accuracy up VC, but her own buff. You know what, that feels fine. And I can take one hit. Oh yeah, I guess they could release something like a summer VC or uh, something that we haven't seen before. That would make sense. Velric? Why am I not familiar with Velric? I, I should know my, uh, my schedule, but that's not a name that I'm uh, familiar with right now. Um, poor man's own. Oh, right, right. He was released before Final Fantasy VII. Oh, well, I guess we'll do that. Okay, well, that makes sense. I'm actually pretty interested into him. I won't pull for him on banner or anything like that, uh, but the fact that he's a unit with... Um, the, the same kit as Oron, and uh, Ice Mastery ability is cool. I still don't have a unit with the Ice Mastery ability. There we go. Now there's a Blinded Black Witch, so she's going to miss everything except on Ninus. Ouch! That's a lot more damage than I thought she'd do. From here, I can throw down the Horizontal Shot, finish Black Witch, and Titus by himself will not clear three persons. Three persons, so guess we're good. But yeah, he seems like a cool unit. Uh, the amount of regeneration he has on his kit is uh, fairly interesting as well, uh, but I don't know how good he'll be. If I remember correctly, he has Paralyze on his uh, Limit Burkist uh, as well. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess one VC, then Charlotte, another VC, and this guy. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. We're gonna conserve CT, potentially stop him. Yep, so fight's basically over at that point. I mean, these are just executions. I I, I was wished good luck. I guess this counts. Uh, how can I hit him? Split shot. I really love split shot's design. Uh, its ability to ignore your own teammates while hitting enemies in an AoE is really useful. All right, guess uh, that's two matches done. So this one should be an actual match. Another Titus, which is pretty threatening. He's fairly accurate. Oh, Titus King Mont and Normal Zazan. So they're running the Charm Strats. That is very, very threatening. Where is Zazan right now? Here. Okay, I'm fine for now. So we can begin with our normal start, and then I need to keep 
count of his movement for the entire fight. We're going to use smoke screen. Then look at their VCs. They're running uh, probably good stuff because they have Zazan with a cost of zero or so. Uh, really good luck. He's going to be accurate. Magic resist, sure. Sadiki Dane, so he's the main carry. 1200 attack is not that high though, so it's fine. Then, uh, what about Zazan? Move six, of course, they would go for that. Hey, what's up, if, uh, Entropy? This is our first match against a live opponent, so that's pretty cool. Nine pull on the regular banner is better than nine pull in new format. Okay, I will take a look at that. I do believe the the step up is better just because you you get all the shards. But then again, since you don't get the pity, that might not be as true. So I guess I'll have to uh, to do the actual math. Oh, there's no shards? Are you kidding me? What? Why not? Oh my god, this guy's using Hazga. You should read the rules. Oh, I'm so sorry, but you're Diamond 1, you you should know that. Oh wow, you're not move 7? That is a big issue. Okay, what's this guy's agility? Is he playing really slowly and can I lap him? 72? No, I cannot lap him. Stars and Mog Medals. Oh, but I guess stars can do something. Oh, it's 10 middle for one shard. Okay, so you're getting the better thing out of the shards. And then if you're getting Mog Medals, I guess that means you're working towards your pity by doing the 9-step as well, which was not the case previously. Um, I need to count his range. So he's charming alongside that line for now, which means I need to move here and use Dragon Standard. And then is Venera charmable? I'm not even sure. I think she is. I'm not used to using her. Yep, everybody on my team's charmable. I guess I should use um, another TMR for that reason. So, yep, again, he charms alongside Venera's current line. So if I go here, I'm basically safe. Titus is not going to do anything. King Mon's not in range. I can actually go here and use Blood Pact. So, so there are some advantages, some not, but that still feels like... Uh, Weird. I'll I'll do the math later today and try to, to count this. Yeah, I guess if you're only going for one of the units, then it's a much better deal than anything else. Assault field this time. You know what? No, wish for peace. Let's go for all all out evasion. These guys don't seem to have a lot of accuracy up. Especially for Tidus. Oh no, he has 360 luck. That's pretty good. Sanctity wall, alright. Tu vas, ma belle? Yep. Alright, tu veux-tu un bisou? Oui. Alright, je m'en viens. Thank you. I muted myself. So I completely fucked this match up by letting Venera in uh, in range for no reason. But she broke the, the charm immediately, so I guess it's not that bad. Now I can kill Zazan, and he'll be out of the fight. Huh. Yeah, this was a really bad play from me, followed by really good luck because we got the counter off. Uh, but definitely should not happen. Uh, when are these guys playing? If I go for a jump or something. I'm landing right after them. So that's pretty good. 
we'll take it. I'm not expecting to hit, but if I'm in the air while they play, I'm safe. We don't have Berserk Resist on our team. That's another reason why I would love to run somebody like Tabi. So now, how much AP does Venera have left? She just wasted a lot. Sentinel? Okay, that's not great. And Kingmond has the Berserk Threat, which he can drop basically anytime. Uh, Sendal, I believe the reason is because in the other NJP, they just skipped this whole class match season. Uh, am I happy they rerun this map? Hell no. It was the worst class match experience I've ever gotten. Uh, but that's probably the reason. Now, my team does not have any means to... Ah, shoot. Hmm. I guess my best way of dealing with King Mond is just poison him to death, which is what I'll go for. But he's playing immediately, huh? Well, you know what? That's fine. You can go for the Berserk. I'll have some other way to stop the rest of his team, so... And then he'll probably miss on Venera. Or he'll hopefully miss on Venera, I should say. We've got 500 luck. He's got 300 something. 370. Yeah, I should be. I should have a good chance of dodging this. So, okay. We don't get perfect evade. We do miss. And then he doesn't let the Berserk on 9s. What's 9s's Berserk resist, if any? So I feel like he should have been Berserked. Yep, none. So we were just really lucky that our faith levels aligned. Now, it's going to be stop, 58% chance. Let's take it. Did not get it. That's really bad. Uh, if I don't move, he's playing several times. I guess I can move closer to the rest of my team. Nah, that's fine. If he kills Lynx, he's not protecting his King Mont, and then we can do the uh, chain finisher play on King Mont. Venera's out of AP though, so that's not great. Um, Kingmont is really AP heavy right now. Well, let's do that then. Drain Rush play. Building a chain. Yeah, I'm recording my games. I do intend to uh, post them to uh, YouTube afterwards. It is a, a funny experience because I'm doing them on... Uh, uh, on stream this time, so my commenting might be a little bit different, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm recording them. Uh, I, I The fact that I stream is just so I can interact with people live, uh, but um, I do uh, still want to publish everything to YouTube. Hey, good luck with that minute. From what I've heard, it's not the most fun experience, but uh, you'll get through it. Oh, well, that's really nice. Thank you, uh, Sendel. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're going to come out. I know they're fairly long videos, but yeah, if so it's something you have on your shift or something like that. That's the, the whole reason they exist. So I'm glad to hear that. Uh, at that point, Revitalize will make a big difference for me. The longer, the better. Yeah, exactly. I, I do that. I listen to podcasts or put on long videos that I know I don't have to put like all my brain towards. And that usually uh, makes my shifts a lot better as well. Do I need to kill King Mont? Not immediately. He's not even hitting. I really want to stop Titus. 58% chance again. Just, nope. Again, not. Well, RNG has helped us and has been against us. We've seen both. I don't know how that they could kill everybody, though. See, his Titus is fairly weak in terms of damage. Misses again. Titus goes again. Is he going to keep running away? Oh, he can grab a crystal this time. But if he does, I'll be AP draining him, so it's not that bad. Perfect evade, okay, sure. Why would he aim for 9s? 9s is awfully tanky. I guess he doesn't have a chance to hit anyone else. Uh, do I want to kill Titus or King Mont first? Well, King Mont's poisoned. He's going to go down soon. Let's go for Titus. Also, lightning against water, so that's done. Now we can take out King Mont. Vampire Cleaver should do the trick. Defense penetration and defense down. Oh, he procced his reaction ability, so he survives. But poison gets him, so I guess that's three and three, but two of them against Odo opponent makes it a really kind of lame match. 
Uh, this one was a good one though. I can't believe I messed up the charm range from the Zen. That was very bad of me. Hmm. So what's he gonna try? Is he gonna try to do... Okay, Claws of the Young King. Yeah, but it's not enough damage to have a real impact. All right, three and three. That's, that's a way better day one than I expected. When I was uh, scrimming with this team, I had about a 50% win rate, and I just figured it would be good against Gunners, and then I'm not running into Gunners so far. Oh, Agrius, Ramada, and Titus. Lots of Titus in this map, which I don't really understand. Hey, Clarofell, how are you? That's a really cool emote. Okay, here we go. Buff number one. Then Titus goes, so they're really fast. Looks like they're uh, they're gonna be a, a big threat. Cheer, all right. They do know haste is uh, is not enabled. Thank you. It is a pretty good morning. I was really thrilled for it, but then there was some maintenance and whatnot that I had to uh, understand what was going on. Smoke screen. There we go. They don't seem to have accuracy up on their team, which is a really good thing for me. All right, 367 luck, that's fairly high. Uh, good resistances. Oh yeah, Freeviz, uh, they hooked us up. It's a really good deal. Uh, no water unit accuracy up, but water unit luck up kind of makes up for that. All right, uh, did not have time to look at Titus's attack score. I'll do that in a minute. It's so far, so good. And then she has shitty luck. She won't be able to hit anybody. So that's really good, because I know Agrias is basically a non-factor for this fight. I mean, she could still land a stop with a Judgment Blade or a Confusion, so I'll make sure that I use the, the buffs I need, but I don't expect her to land anything. Guess we'll begin with Wish for Peace, though, because extra evasion against them will be really good. I dislike the fact that if you move and use your ability, you lose access to the map button until you choose facing, which really disallows looking at enemy stats too much. So 1400, 364. Inherited Tyranny. Oh, he's going to be able to hit my team fairly hard, fairly quickly. Um, but I'm betting on my dodges. And for that reason, I'm not feeling that bad. I can go here, and then they might hit me, or they might not, but at least I'll have a crystal under my name. So that's good. You girl, I need to use Blood Pact or just Revitalize. Blood Pact and a Crystal, Revitalize. That's a tough call. Revitalize, stay in place, conserve CT. Because extra CT is going to be important and if they want to go for links, they need to commit at least a little bit. She's got a Dispel in her kit. She's got a AoE move with armor uh, down. So I need to be wary of those two things because they're going to enable themselves really well. Fennis Killer, that's not going to come into account. Oh yeah, it is going to come into account. And she does hit. Wow, okay. I don't know what her hit chance was there, but I'm surprised she was able to hit me so easily. It's really bad because we've lost most of our HP on our Fennis unit. Sentinel, I, I'll just ignore her completely. And now I really need to go for Ramada. Can I one-shot her? Nope. Really far from that. Damn it, that is not a good start. In fact, it's a terrible start. Um, guess I'll go here and use hacking on Ramada. Start dealing some damage to her. Because she is accurate, it would seem. Cannot let her be that damagey. And then I can use a rapid fire to finish her off. Not even? Wow. All right. Split shot? Nope. Dual trigger? Yes. One for one, but if they take out... Uh, if Titus takes out Venera there, I'm not really in a, that good a position. I also gave him the Taunting Blade onto 9S, which I don't like, uh, but if he goes there, he's giving me the stop. Oh, misses. I guess um, Ramada was more accurate than Titus in their team, which is fine. Now I got the Shadow Tether from behind, 51% chance to stop. Do we get it? Yup. So this second fight, we're getting a lot, way better RNG than in the first one. At that point, I don't see 
Agress hitting anybody with her abysmal luck. Uh, yep, misses the Taunting Blade. Why would they not use the stop chance? Oh, right, I'm immune to it. Never mind. Um, I guess if we want to kill Agrius, there's only one way to do it, and that is chaining, which I don't have right now, actually. I don't want you to land your Limit Burst either. I uh, don't need to go for Titus right now. I can just go for her, reduce her defense, enabling my future damage. Uh, then uh, can we give her the same treatment? 87%, yep. There we go. So, fight's over. One down. Yeah, at that point, it's just an execution. Oh, is he leaving? Yep. All right. Four and four. But these guys, I don't know. They're on auto. They do have the Black Witch. And they're faster than me. Interesting. Evade tips. Uh, yeah. Evasion is a really hard archetype to crack, I find. Because whenever I'm running it, I it's you don't know what the enemy team's accuracy is. You don't know what... Uh, VCs, uh, well, you know VCs, but you don't know what Esper they have, what equipment they have. So always assume that they can hit you and play safely. Uh, don't just tell yourself, like, I'm going to be fine, I'm going to dodge, and uh, I'll be, I'll live forever. That is not the way it's going to work. Okay, so their Black Witch is accurate, and she's already committing. I really don't, don't like that at all. Uh, so we're going to use Revitalize this time, because we won't be grabbing a crystal. Instead, we'll be letting her advance and pull the trigger first, which means I'm moving back one square. Like this. Assuming she's an arithmetician, her range is uh, one, two, three. It's four squares in front of her. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, I guess I did not have to move back. But she's an auto. She'll move forward to us, and we'll be able to do whatever we want. So increase our spirit. That'll make sure we... Well, I'll make sure. It'll help us live one more hit. Cheer. Sure. Don't care about that. I guess I should look at the other guys, because I only took a look at one of them so far. Uh, Dragon Standard is going to be pretty good here. Then, let's see what he has. Uh, 335 luck, pretty low. Oh yeah, always take a look at the enemy's luck if you're and if they have accuracy up or not. Uh, but accuracy up doesn't tell you if it's like one luck, two luck, uh, sorry, one, two accuracy, or if it's a high amount. So it's hard to uh, make use of that information. Shoot, it's pretty bad. Also, yeah, if you move and it resets you, it keeps the facing in which you were moving, so you actually lose your facing advantage, which is a pretty bad thing. There we go, evasion up. All right, Black Witch, I'm ready for you to advance. And I don't think you can reach anybody, huh? Nope. So Dark Focus, move forward, please. There we go. So we've got our match now. I can move in, use... Oh, I'm out of range for Drain Rush. Am I in range for AP Drain? Nope. Sad, I don't know my range. 30% chance to stun. Is that worth? Yeah, I'll take it. Starts building a slash chain too. Don't get this done. Sad. Enemy 9s has 1400 attack. He's way stronger than my 9s. Um, I wonder how he got that high. What does he have? That's special. Not a kill. That's fairly unfortunate. Not a kill either. Uh, not a kill either. Not a kill either. Alright then. Well, you know what? If you're blind, you're not very useful, so let's just blind you. Because Black Witch Hell and I is immune to stop, as are a ton of the uh, recent units. Tonic Blade. What? Why would... How would you hit Lynx? You're not supposed to hit Lynx. That's not nice. Uh, is Poison Sting... Yeah, it's a traveling ability. That sucks. All her abilities are traveling abilities, actually, except maybe for the limit break. Limit break isn't. All right, Black Witch is out. It feels kind of bad to put all my eggs in the same basket and take the Black Witch out, but she's the the worst. Well, yeah, I do get Castidus, but he only has 300 luck, where I'm fighting with, like, almost 500. So 
It feels surprising to me. Uh, but you know what we'll do? We'll make sure he doesn't do that again. Or we'll make sure Ninus is... Yeah, we're not draining a lot from Ninus because he's not a human. There we go. Now Titus is useless. Ninus will probably finish off um, Shadow Links. Well, had he hit. And now Titus is forced to basic attack 9s, type advantage and whatnot, we're fine. Uh, I guess I'll heal a little bit and maybe stop him. 75%, that's good. Yep, so got him out. The stop from Shadow Lynx is the main reason why she's in this team. Uh, paired with a movement of 5, she can reach just about anywhere, and that's extremely strong. Uh, yeah, I can't hit the enemy team easily from here. Oh yeah, AP Drain is a extremely powerful move. She doesn't really have a good option. I guess I'll just start breaking barriers. Now I think that Titus' saintly wall is off. Spear shot, sure. Sure, buddy. And now that he no longer has anything to protect himself, Drain Rush is going to do it. Three hit chain. I can move out of the way for Lynx to finish him off. Or Venera. Nope, there we go. I mean, at that point, this fifth match is over, so yeah, we. It's good to know that I can fit all matches in the uh, 715 to 830 window. That means I'll be able to do that all week and not be late for work. That was one of my concerns with streaming early. All right, guess uh, my day one is a load of success, but then three auto opponents feels really weird. Ranking of one, I'll keep that in mind. It feels very impressive, but uh, it's just because we don't have a defeat yet. So every player that has the same result today will end up in rank one until they... Um, do like me and then lose a couple matches just because they make a, a couple mistakes. So that was day one for this current season's class matches. I would like to ask you guys, how is the experience with the uh, stream on top? Is the overlay annoying? Is the discussion a bit different? Uh, I do want to focus on YouTube primarily. So if this impacts your experience negatively, let me know if it's even better. Well, let me know as well, because in that case, I'll keep doing that. Uh, but yeah, feedback would be very appreciated, especially if uh, you enjoy those videos, right? So thank you again for watching and have a great rest of your day.